The learning tool is our AI-based tool that easily differentiates between good and bad targets by simply teaching the IB3 OK and No Good images. No complicated settings are needed. The learning tool will automatically configure the optimal settings. Let's go through an example. I'm going to use this learning tool simulator file to walk through step-by-step -step how to set up a learning tool and also how to use multiple learning tools in one single program if you have multiple features you want to detect on your part. In my example, I want to detect that five screws are present around the edge of my part. And I will show you that I'll, I'm going to use a individual learning tool for each screw. So let's jump into our sensor settings. Since I already have a master image saved of my part, I can jump to step three, my tool settings, and I'm going to add a tool. The very first thing I'm going to do is add a position adjustment. And it's important to note that if you will be needing a position adjustment uh, while using a learning tool, you always want to set up this position adjustment first. That way, when you teach your OK and your no good targets, it will be able to track your part as it may move throughout the field of view. So I'm going to use this square as that will always be present. And I'm just going to use a partial search range since it'll always be in this relative area of my blue box. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now I can start adding my learning tool and I can add my individual windows. You can see I either can have a rectangle or a circular window and can move this over my screw and a recommendation is to narrow down your window to your feature of interest. So having a learning tool like this to detect this screw will be much more stable than if I were to use a giant learning window looking at my whole part. The reason being if I use my learning tool like this and one single screw is missing, let's say this top one, a majority of my tool area will remain the exact same for a good and bad part, making it much harder for the IV3 to differentiate the two. But if I make my window smaller and narrow it down to the feature I care about, in this case, this top screw, now there will be a much larger difference between a good and a bad part. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to continue adding a window for each screw that I have until I have all five. The reason you want to add all your windows before you start to teach OK and No Good images is because when you teach your OK and your No Good, you are teaching all windows at the same time. So if I were to learn my images first and then go back and add a new window or a new tool, I would have to relearn all my images. So now that I have all five set up, I am ready to hit my learning OK and No Good targets. And since this is a simulator file, I don't have a live image to teach it. However, I can uh, teach it from my image history. So I'm going to start with teaching it a good part, which is all five screws present. And it's important to note that when you teach a good part, it does have to be a master good part, meaning all windows must be good. So I'm going to hit OK and register this as a good image. Next, I am going to teach a no good. And ideally, you would have a master no good part where all, you know, in my case, all five windows are bad. However, it doesn't have to be this. So for example, if I were to have this part as a bad example where two screws are missing, can hit OK and hit register as a no good. And the reason I can do this for a bad part is because it actually lets me learn my windows individually. So my first window up top is good because the screw is present. Second is no good. Third window is good. Four no good. Five is good. And I can teach them individually. However, I need to have at least one good and one bad for each window. So the fastest and most efficient way to do this is by having a master no good part like this. I'm going to register as no good. 
all five windows are no good, and at this point, I'm ready to start learning. This will take just a few seconds to complete this learning process. And at this point, learning has been completed. So now I can go to the next step and complete my program. And now we want to test out how this would actually run. So let's go into Operation Simulation. And it will apply the tools that I just set up to uh, the saved images in this program. So as I click on each one, you can see this one correctly detects it's missing that top screw. This one correctly detects it's missing two screws. Again, this is a completely bad part. And here is a good part. So looks like I have a stable program. The only thing I may need to do is to make my search region for this position adjustment slightly larger since it's somewhat close. Um, but that is a stable program using multiple windows to detect multiple features. I hope this video helped teach you a little bit more about how to use the learning tool and specifically how to use multiple of them together. Uh, but if you have any additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888-KEANCE, option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.